Here's another dirty drone from Metzan. Uh, this one is built into a, a little drawer, a found object. It's a, I guess, um, screw drawer from some. Mm, well, I found it in an abandoned house somewhere in Lapland. Uh, it had a marking here for a certain kind of screws. I put in a PCP board, dirty drone sign. <laughs> it's still a little knob. It has all the dirt <laughs> part. You know, it can be screwed off. It if you're annoyed by the design. I thought it was funny that you know what it is. Uh, the faceplate is plastic. Um, recycled material I found in the street. It's from advertisement billboards. Um, yeah. Okay, the function is pretty similar to uh, the other ones uh, you might have seen before. Mm. I kind of gave up on the numbering, I tried to make more and I kind of lose track. But uh, I can explain what's going on here. This is in that way improved, I would say, that there's a filter section here. Here we have the frequency. Here we have the cutoff uh, adjustment. And this is some kind of mix between unfiltered signal uh, here and fully filtered, fully clockwise in the middle because it's uh, it's a phase inverted mix. Uh, you have have each the both signals cancel canceling each other out, so it's kind of a shaping of the tone knob with uh, with a nonlinear function. Also, when it's on fully. Uh, uh, like fully dry and you still have the resonance on it's uh, not 100% clean because it's a passive uh, blend filter which I only put in to get the like the shaping uh, capabilities which I like um, you might hear it later uh, kind of becomes quieter in the middle and just some frequencies come through and then it goes to the either direction. So basically again three drone uh three drones which are like here uh body contacts for each is knob B, let's call it B and knob A. A is pretty much a pitch and B is some kind of uh just adjustment of the presence in the mix because they all mix together and uh, go together to the filter but as it is a diode mix um, the signals are affecting each other in a non-linear non-linear way here we have the global volume and uh, the uppermost uh, selector knobs in the drones drone section here is the frequency range which is um, let me see it is the lowest to the left in the middle it's basically no cap capacitor selected so you will get some super high frequency fragments uh, which I really liked for the diversity usually this whole thing is very base uh, Base uh, laden in sound, but with the mid section here, you get some almost inaudible high frequency uh, scatter in the sound, which I really like for the diversity. And to the left, it's kind of mid, so it's low, super high, and let's call it mid or not so low. Mm. Then we have. Uh, two LDRs, that's light dependent resistors, which affecting this uh, this drone, which is tuned a bit higher than these two, they are in the same pitch or in the same, built in the same vein. 
uh, your one LDR is controlling this, which gets really high. I think it only makes sense when you play in dar in uh, total darkness. Uh, that's why there's a very bright LED here. Uh, it's green. I don't know if it comes across in the video. It's green um, because if you switch the LDRs on, which is those knobs to the upwards LDR position, then uh, you don't get this super high high pitched squealy sounds, but uh, it's kind of moderate and fits to the rest of the sound, but you can play with your hand and the light reflecting from your hand, or if you use a piece of paper, will reflect into the LDRs and control the movement in sound. So let's listen to what we got. This is already way too much blah blah I think.
Psst, psst, psst.